I'm Patrick Bean. I'm the Clean Water Program Administrator with Des Moines Public Works. We're actually out here at 26th and Payne, and we're standing next to one of the, the camera trucks for ice pipe cleaning who's doing some contracted inspection and cleaning of some of our sanitary sewer systems within the city. And we've had a lot of questions about this. Residents have come up or called in and asked about, you know, why are you in the sewers? And the answer is, we're there to make sure that when you flush your toilet, you run your showers, that that wastewater can actually flow into the system so it can make it down to the treatment plant. Without a program like this, potentially we would have more blockages, more backups and more overflows. What we have here behind us is the truck that actually houses the video camera that is a little robotic wheeled buggy that actually drives up through the pipe. Sometimes when they're trying to do that, they've either got some silt or rocks or even roots that may block off part of the pipe. And so the other truck that you can see in the distance, that's actually a jet truck where they've got a high pressure nozzle they use to do some light cleaning of the sewer line before they can run the, the camera up there. Occasionally it gets really heavy roots or a lot of debris in there. And at that point, they turn it back to the city to do the heavy cleaning before they come back and televise it once the line's been cleared. The city does some of their own inspection work with their own TV trucks, but a lot of time that's spent, the time is spent on reactive. We have a problem, we have a backup, we're investigating it. We like to hire the contractors to come in and are just focused on that proactive inspection, looking at the sewers that are throughout the city to understand the condition, understand the problems that may exist out there, whether it's something we need to clean more, whether we have a cracked or broken pipe we need to fix. And so we can get in and do those repair before it comes to a, a failure of some sort. If we wait till there's an emergency, it's four to five times more expensive to come and repair it once it's already broken down and failed and overflowing than it is to address it before it gets to that point. We get a lot of great data out of this. We not only get a full video inspection, which is just a snapshot in time of what that pipe looks like, we also get identif identifying markers for footages and every defect that exists within the pipe as they're going through and doing these inspections. So it lets us better plan, better budget, and then better execute the renewal and repair projects for the sanitary sewer system. It lets us go through and plan out the work we're gonna be doing and then go, be able to go back to council and say, this is the level of funding we need in order to operate and maintain a sanitary sewer system the size the city of Des Moines has.